and so it's a different orientation when you begin to understand that you create your own reality and that you are a attractor you are an attractor you are an attractor you are an attractor you are an attractor by your attention you are an attractor by your attention your life is created by the story you tell your life is created by the memories that you remember your life is created by the conversations that you have your life is created by how you feel about things and you have the ability to feel differently than you do if you want to just not all at once because the law of attraction while it is your very best friend because of its consistency and because of its power it also will give you what you believe and so as you believe something law of attraction gives it to you and then you say see I knew it was true <laughs> and we say but that didn't have to be true it's only true because you made it true for you well I saw it happen to a lot of other people so I began to suspect it might be true for me too see there see how it works so we know it isn't easy to hold thoughts that are different in a world or in an environment that is thinking things but it's why you came to this leading edge you are brilliant creators here in this new environment new in every moment this combination of beings has never been before unto all of the universe we are unique here today and so as you find something that you can focus upon and you feel your way to clearer and purer and less resistant thought you're going to discover in that clarity of thought which means in that resistance free thought you're going to discover elation and joy and productivity beyond anything that you have ever experienced before it's only about you personally wanting enough to feel good that you're willing to reach for better feeling thoughts you're willing to clear your mind and start new again that after a good night's sleep that you focus a little more deliberately on things that feel better and the most important thing that we would like to awaken and activate within you today is your personal desire to feel good because when that is active within you your personal desire to feel good when you haven't given up on that when you still want to feel good then you can guide yourself to those awarenesses and observations that will help you to feel good and when you do you clarify your vibration your point of attraction becomes non-resistant and when that happens oh so many wonderful things begin to flow into your experience and the thing that is so wonderful about that is you get to watch you get to witness your clarity turning into experiences and things thoughts turning to things thoughts turning to things that's what you came here for we want to start just briefly by getting you to consider some things and then we want to open the conversation to whatever you want to talk about the other day yesterday Esther was waiting in a boarding area to get on an airplane to come to see you and she was sitting very near a woman who was on the telephone having a very loud and unpleasant conversation with someone <laughs> seemed like it might be her daughter seemed like it from the words that Esther was hearing and Esther tried not to focus on it but it was very loud and Esther thought about moving but it was very interesting <laughs> And so then the woman said I can't get a word in you're not going to stop talking I can't get a word in you're not going to hear me I can't get a word in I can't get a word in I can't get a word in I can't get a word I can't get a word in I can't get a word in shut up shut up I can't get a word in listen to me listen to me listen to me I hate you too and hung up <laughs> and Esther thought Wow and then the woman looked really sad for a little while and Esther wanted to go over and put her arm around her and say you know we can only hate those we really really love and then Esther thought better that I just mind my own business and then Esther thought too late too late <laughs> haven't been minding my own business but then through the flight 
Esther's thought came back to that because coincidentally that woman was sitting right next to Esther <laughs> on a flight that was pre-assigned seats and so Esther is pondering that wondering what she should say if anything and she didn't say anything she knew that the momentum was enough that she would just evoke defensiveness but the wonderful thing about Esther getting to overhear this is that as Esther relaxed and reclined her seat and closed her eyes she was able to hear our comments about the subject and we said to Esther you know this is the best experience that you've witnessed in a long while that helps you to understand what we've been talking about about asking and receiving how asking the question and receiving the answer are two different modes and that when you keep talking when you keep thinking when you try too hard when you stay actively involved in solving your own problem you're in a position where you can't hear the answer even though we all are offering it to you on a steady ongoing basis it's just like this woman was screaming at her child you've got to shut up in order to hear me now we want to say it nicer to you <laughs> but you've got to shut up in order to hear your inner being flowing to you because when you ask it is always given but you know what you ask and it's given and you don't let it in and you know why you don't let it in because you're so looking at what is and arguing for your limitations or trying to explain why it is like it is or justifying it in other words there's not a great expectation on the part of most humans that when they ask it will be given someone should write a book about that <laughs> when you ask it is given step one is you ask and life helps you to keep doing that and step two it's it is given but step three is you've got to be in the listening mode you've got to be in the receiving mode you've got to practice the art of allowing you've got to stop your frantic explaining how it is in order to even catch a little bit of the solution now this mother had wisdom that she was offering and her child even believes in the wisdom of this mother sometimes but when you've got the vibration of a problem so active within you that's why Esther didn't say anything the problem was so active within her Esther knew that anything that she might say would not be received it couldn't be received under those conditions this woman needed a good night's sleep or a lot of drugs or something <laughs> in fact Esther thought you need drugs <laughs> and then she heard the woman call her therapist and ask for a prescription to be refilled and Esther thought ask and it is given <laughs> ask and it is given so what is it you are wanting to talk about we're eager to talk with you about anything that matters to you nothing is off limits when we find you it's because you will be a good representation of what people in this room are asking about and so it's going to be a wonderful unfolding today just relax and enjoy thank you <laughs> that's just the only way that I can open it I have a lot of questions probably like a lot of people you'd be surprised at how most of your questions are all the same yeah they're about different subjects but it's the same question yeah and that's fortunate because we only have one answer <laughs> <laughs> Great. so I found for myself that you know my emotions vacillate based upon what you're focused on yeah so my focus vacillates is that what you mean say that one more time sorry my focus vacillates yes it does my focus vacillates because I don't stay focused on anything long enough to gain enough momentum yeah and that's a good thing when it's unwanted things because that way I'm fickle and nothing really gets a hold yeah but when it's things that I care about my vacillating focus doesn't serve me very well mm -hmm. next <laughs> Thank you. I love you. I just need to say that. <laughs> I find myself often in a state of overwhelmment. Well, let's just briefly, this will be very brief. Overwhelmment is asking for more than I'm allowing. Overwhelmment is a whole bunch of unresolved flowing, it's a bottleneck 
overwhelmment as a bottleneck is because I'm asking and asking and asking but I'm not receiving and so my valve isn't open and I'm not letting the resolutions happen that's all that it is it's not too many subjects you could focus on so many more subjects than you ever do and if you're in a state of clarity and expectation Esther said to a driver yesterday she said I have this saying and I say it all the time to myself and he said what is it and Esther said things are always working out for me things are always working out for me and he said and they are look you got me <laughs> things are always working out for me things are always working out for me that's a really good statement to say and mean that will sort of soothe that overwhelmment we interrupted you but we want you to understand what overwhelmment is thank you everything's about balance in and out in and out if you were to only breathe in and never breathe out you'd be overwhelmed <laughs> The other way works if you were to only breathe out and never breathe in there'd be a shortage consciousness there worth talking about wouldn't there yes yeah Absolutely. so it's balance in and out got it thank you i guess part of my question around this is i occasionally have taken medication and drugs to actually work with that to balance my seam of overwhelmment no you don't balance your overwhelmment what you do is mute your ability to know you're overwhelmed oh got it yeah yeah what happens <laughs> which is not altogether a bad thing because feeling that frenzy isn't good for you either but it's like putting a band-aid on a gushing wound it's really not the answer well what happens to asking when you're in that state of what a drug or anything kind of puts you in what happens to asking Ooh, that's the best question anyone has ever put to us what happens to asking it gets bigger and bigger and bigger because once you ask we've demonstrated this you've all heard it and watched us do this so when life causes you to know what you don't want you know what you do want and you emanate an asking a vibrational request and it moves forward into this vibrational atmosphere that we want so much for you to accept the reality of this vibrational reality that we call it the vortex wrote two books about it so that you would accept its existence life causes you to ask even if you don't use words when life causes you to ask you emanate a request that source answers and the fact that source has now answered the request meaning source is giving undivided attention to your request that's your inner being that's that soul source part of you focused relentlessly never endingly upon what you've asked for and now think about law of attraction now responding to that focal point of your inner being which means that desire what happens to my desire your desire just continues to expand and become more which means once you launch one it's prudent for you to move in the direction of it because of the expense between the desire that is yours and is tied to you because you gave birth to it and you in the moment because of the thoughts you're thinking if the expanse the vibrational difference is too great then what happens to my desire it gets greater and greater and greater what happens to me if I don't move with it I feel worse and worse and worse until I say I'm overwhelmed or depressed or afraid mm. I'm just taking that in <laughs> yeah we want you to feel the bigness of this but we also want you to feel the ease of how easy it is really to keep up with your own desires you just have to talk in favor of them not against them mm.